Okay, so it's uh, Friday 31st of August 2012. Um, sorry for the portrait thing, but I'm using the phone. Um, Erin's last day at nursery. Just about to take it now. Um, mixed feelings, I guess. Uh, yeah. Don't know where this uh, four and a bit years has, has gone, really. Um, you, I've... Um, I mean, for reference, used to, you know, we've, since a baby, I've uh, had to go part-time at work, uh, work um, in the afternoons, have everything in the morning, you know, drop off at nursery at lunchtime and go to work. And uh, as from next week, she's at school, uh, starts on the Wednesday, and uh, it'd be a case of she's there all day, you know, I'm at work all day, Jane's at work all day. Bit of a change. Looking forward to it in a way because um, at the moment um, the only day I get off is a Sunday. So from family time perspective, yeah, it's me and Erin in the morning, which is you know great. Um, and I'm going to miss that a lot actually. I, you know, daddy daughter sort of one on one time. I'm going to miss that. But I guess with us both going on to office hours and Erin being at school. Um, I think Jane's going to be dropping off at school when I'll be picking her up. And it just means that family time, like me, Jane and Erin in the same room, um, will be every day, which, you know, it's a positive. I'm looking forward to that because at the moment, the only time the three of us are in a room together is, is on a Sunday, which kind of sucks. So it'd be nice to get some, you know, both parenting time one-on-one -on -one with, with, with Erin, with you, if you're watching this when you're a bit grown up. Hopefully it's uh, still watchable. Um, don't know if this date, if um, this probably looks quite dated. You're probably looking using holograms by now. I don't know. My sci-fi brain's going a bit uh, <laughs> crazy. <sighs> but you know, 21st century still haven't got hoverboards, so hopefully you've got them by now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to go downstairs. Um, we'll see Erin. And we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. So, see you in a minute. We mean to sit on the stairs. It's a mess down here. We had a spillage. <laughs> right. So, come here. Last day. Yeah. Last day at nursery. What do you think? Yeah. What are you going to tell me? Um, a bit bad because I won't see Libby all the time. Let's see Libby all the time. She's not going to be in your class, is she? No. It's going to be a different class, I think. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about school? Um, see name. See name? Are you going to be in your class? He's in Snowy Owl, remember? In Snowy Owls, oh yeah, of course, yeah. What are you going to miss, miss most about nursery? But it would be the same because before they were starting to watch Tig like on nursery I got. Oh right, okay. <laughs> you're very happy. So you're not sad about leaving nursery? I am a bit, just a... I'm just a... bit sad about nursery a little bit. Let's see Cheryl, she like... Maybe she'll... Uh, Change it up to school. She thinks she might. She wants to see you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gibby Pigman tried to weep, but he... But he lost his voice. Oh, yeah, so he has. Hi. Right. So we get... Should we get going, then? we say goodbye to all your teachers and things in a minute, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah? Right. We're off, we're off, we're off. We're off in a motor car. Forty robbers are after us and we don't know where they are, but we're not because we're going on a bus. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye-bye, future Erin. Bye-bye, future Erin. Bye-bye, <laughs> future me. Bye-bye, future me. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Here we go. It girl on bus. <laughs> hey. Last time you'll go on the bus to nursery, eh? 
her thoughts. No. What did you say? Why do I look like my sunglasses? Mm, very handsome. Pretty. Yes, you look like a knit girl. Mm. Now you don't look pretty because you got your tongue out. See up your nose. Cheese. <laughs> right. What do you think you're going to do today? Um, play with sausages. Play with sausages. <laughs> Feet silly. Um, and when, when I'm afraid of they catch them in their mouths to eat. Who does? No one. <laughs> Do it. Oh right. I okay. just go then quickly run and get it. And I share it with my friends. One bit for me, one bit for Lily, one bit for me, and one bit for Lily. One bit for Grace. Right. Well, Grace, come let's stay for a little while. Right. Because um, because she didn't. Because it was her last day. So her last day as well. What day was that? Um, a long time ago. All oh, right. She's not been for a while then, has she? Is that last year? Good. It's always nice to remember, isn't it? Are you going to play in the home corner with your friends today? Um, um, just for a little <laughs> bit because uh, um, there's a display and they're sticking the pictures of the things that I made. And I made, I made two, I made three things did yes, you? yesterday. What did you make? I made a badger. Bunch, bunch, bunch of mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> and I made a mouse. Yeah. And I made a hedgehog. And a hedgehog as well. Cool. How did you make those? All by myself, by drawing pens. Oh, drawing pens, oh, right. I've done it by myself. First, I wanted to draw a mouse. To children have said to, uh, to draw a bunch and a mouse. Yeah. And I, before I, he said, um, to, for me to do a hedgehog too. All right. How about you? <laughs> Are those autumn animals, maybe? No, it's the Percy, Percy story, because we're making a, this little Percy. Oh right, okay. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Fair enough. Now Erin, if there was one <coughs> thing you'd want to tell you as a grown up, what would it be? <coughs> so if you could meet grown up Erin, what would you say to her? If you could meet you as a grown-up, if you had Doctor Who's t um, house that could travel in time, if you could meet your you as a grown-up, what would you say to you as a grown-up? Um, what would you say to remember? What would you say to do? Um, to go to the park and play. But to always play. Even when you have to go to work, try and try and find time to play. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. oh. So anything else you'd say? Mm -hmm. um, I want to be. I want you to help me be a, a school teacher. Oh. oh. 
so you hope when you grow up you want to be a school teacher. Oh. Because I'm getting terrified and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Do you hope that grown up pair will still go dancing? Yes. What kind of dancing will you do? Um, jumping up and down on my feet and on my shoes and tap shoes. Alright. Tap all the day long and swirl and tap at the same time. Okay. That's a nice thing to tell future Erin. Stop on the corner. Good girl. It's got to check it's safe. No, it's okay. Hey, last day, look. Is that a magic phone? Oh, it makes videos, yeah. Can I tell you when I'm going to call you? Yes. Almost, yeah, by making noises, do they? You ready? Steady, go! Go! Racing, yeah, come on then. No, uh, you won. I boo. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey. No, so it's the end down. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's get the door open, shall we? So where's your peg? It's right here. Oh, Erin's peg. It says Erin Barn, does it? Yeah. It says Erin B. <sighs> so bad, so go on, go in there. Looks like it. Oh, you're off. So I can do some filming while the kids aren't here. It's obviously uh, respectful to the parents. This was your nursery room. The home corners disappear today. That's usually got all um, kitchens and stuff like that in it, you know. And a quiet room. In there. So, just dropped you off. Um, I love you, Trevin. Say goodbye to your teachers. And uh, got to go into the playground and meet some of your little friends, which was nice. I was talking to the teacher, say goodbye to them. Um, you were playing really nicely in the playground outside, um, showing off a little bit to your mates, I think, because uh, you got me to pick you up so you could wrap your legs around my waist, and then I had to swing you around upside down with your arms out, you know. You were giggling and laughing the whole time. And all your friends were like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> so, there you go. Obviously you can't feel many of your friends just to respect to the other parents, you know. You want to make sure you're broadcasting video footage of other people's kids. It's not really the right thing to do. Um, camera's a bit wobbly because, uh, again, I'm using my phone. Um, I don't know if you can hear, hear me, I don't want to talk too loudly, it feels a bit weird. But uh, I'm heading towards the tram now to go to, to work, to the office. Um, need to reflect on this a bit. Because, yeah, uh, a little bit, well, you know, it affected me a bit more than I thought it would. To be honest, it's because you you know you're not my little baby anymore. You you're officially a proper you know little girl at school. And okay, yeah, it's primary school and that, but it's the first stage. And 
they always say that their school years do swing by before you know it, they're 18 and, or 20 or whatever and moving out. Very strange. Um, so yeah, it's a bit weird one. I do remember my school days like yesterday and I'm 32 nearly now. And yeah, they did, they did shoot by. So hopefully you made the most of it. And you made lots of friends and you, you know, learned what you need to learn. Hopefully got some qualifications out of it and you're well on your way or already in a, a job that you kind of like. Um, if you're not, don't worry. You know, we've all been there. Um, my whole school life I was, I was working up to, you know, doing med degrees and being a nurse. Turned out I didn't like it after doing it for a while, so, you know, tried pharmacy, that was okay, but again, weren't, weren't that keen, so, uh, you know, that happened a few years ago, and then, then you came along. Awesome. Um... And that whole time I've not really thought about what I want to be, what I want to do when I grow up. Now I've just realised that I am grown up. <laughs> so there you go. But, you know, I get to do a thing I love by doing the uh, the website and the YouTube videos and stuff. Make a little bit of money from it, but not enough to have a job and time to go to an office every day. I think that's the main thing. You know, if you can... If you, if you get to do what you love, if you have to do a Monday 9 to 5, you know, office job or whatever, just so you know you're guaranteed to be able to do the thing you love, then, then do it. If you happen to... Excuse me a moment. Freeport turn of half, that's always clever. If you happen to be um, doing a job as a job that you love, then bonus, you know. I don't know where this is going really. Um, I just hope you, when you watch this, you're, you're happy. <laughs> and um, I hope you remember your old man with a smile, you know. I tried my best, you know, hopefully the good bits are what you remember, um, and don't forget I love you, and I'm chums coming now so I'm gonna go, see ya. I like to move it, move it, fit, 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 fit.